Hey guys, Dan here, and I'm sitting in my office entertainment area. And last year, TCL announced and eventually released their six series lineup of 4K HDR televisions. And so in this video, we're going to check it out and see if it's worth being the epicenter of your home entertainment setup. Now before we get into everything, I just want to shout out TCL for sending this TV out for review. This video is not sponsored by any means and all of my opinions are my own, but they did graciously provide us with a unit to check out. Speaking of, this is the massive 65 inch 6 series 4K HDR Roku TV. And right off the bat, if you're familiar with the previous generation, you'll notice a pretty major difference in design. This TV is super heavy and a bit on the thicker side, but that's because it's made up of premium materials, which gives it that chamfered edge like brushed metal look all throughout the frame, leading down to this really cool looking power button in the bottom right corner. If there was one issue that I had with the last generation, it was the look and feel. TCL definitely upgraded in this department. The TV sits on these two feet, which sort of complements the overall modern look and feel. If we take a look around the back, you'll find all of your inputs. The 6 Series offers up to three HDMI ports, one composite input, one optical audio port, a USB 2.0 port, and an Ethernet port. There's also a headphone jack and one cable input for those who still use a coax cable. Now my only real complaint here would be the lack of an extra HDMI port. Most modern day televisions usually include four HDMI ports, but this TV only gives you three. Now to me, that's a huge deal because it's kind of an inconvenience. I use one of those HDMI ports as an ARC connection for my soundbar, and then one goes to the Apple TV, and that only leaves me with one connection left for an Xbox, a PS4, and a Nintendo Switch. Now that seems like overkill and there's a lot of things, and really that's not the end of the world, but this means that I have to get an HDMI hub and it's almost a necessity if I wanna use all three at the same time. Speaking of gaming, the TCL 6 Series TV does a tremendous job with gaming. Now I'm not a huge gamer, I just kind of use my consoles every once in a while, but this TV has an excellent response time and relatively low lag time, which are obviously two important areas for you gamers out there. Not to mention, there's a beautiful Dolby Vision HDR, which really helps take gameplay visuals to the next level. All of this carries over into content consumption as well. The TV's operating system is run by Roku, which if you've ever had a Roku player or used a Roku TV in the past, the setup is still very similar. You get a list of options and settings on the left hand side and on the right you'll see whatever section you're currently in. The main homepage offers a tiled view of HDMI inputs in all of the apps or what Roku calls channels that are downloaded to your TV. It does come with a lot of bloatware per se, but for the most part it's stuff that you're probably going to use. I do like Roku's operating system, even though the design is not the best, but it does work really well. And I found that some of the apps I use the most have a few design functions that are actually better than other streaming boxes like my Apple TV. Quick side note, the remote that comes with this TV is pretty familiar looking compared to previous generations, but it does come with a few changes. Some of the more notable changes in this remote is a much slimmer design than its predecessor, but you're also losing out on the built-in headphone jack, that used to come with it for private listening. That's kind of a bummer, but other than that, the remote works really well. I do kind of wish you could customize the quick launch buttons at the bottom, but again, not the end of the world. Finally, as far as picture quality goes, for under $850 for the 65 inch, you're getting incredible value. The Dolby Vision HDR looks extremely sharp and offers superior contrast with brighter and more vibrant colors. For those that are curious, the contrast on this display is optimized across 160 zones to give you some really stark contrast between bright areas and of course some of the darker areas of the TV. Translation, the blacks are very deep. It's not like an OLED, but for a regular LED display, this is pretty close to being as dark as you can get. This lends to all of the other beautiful bright colors to pop off the display and really show off what this TV is capable. One final side note, the built-in speakers for this TV are never going to replace a soundbar, and this holds true across pretty much any TV that you get, not just this one, but they honestly do not sound bad for small living areas or apartments. Overall, I'm fairly happy with the quality and design that you get with this TV. It's definitely great value for the price. 
Speaking of the price, you can actually pick up the 55 inch model for $629 and this model, which is 65 inch for only 850. For those of you who are interested, I will leave links to those models in the comment section down below. I've also seen TCL tweet out quite a bit that this TV is actually on sale, which is perfect if you're going to be hosting a Super Bowl party and you want to upgrade your setup. So it might be even cheaper at the time of this video. So let me know what you think of the TCL 6 series. And if you're thinking of getting one or you picked one up, let me know how you like it in the comment section down below. As always guys, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.